Hey guys, Vincent here, and this is the Bionet 7184. Let's have a closer look. The Bionet 7184 or 71-84 is a knife style Bionet featuring a muzzle ring and button lock mounting system. The blade and the whole handle is made out of steel with two wooden grips. It has a standard black leather sheath with steel parts. The overall length is 380 mm. The blade itself is 250 mm long, 25 mm wide and 6 mm thick. Without the sheath, the bayonet weighs around 390 grams. During the 1870s and early 1880s, a lot of European military powers began to think about switching from a single shot to a magazine-fed repeating rifle, and Germany was no exception. Field trials started in early 1882, when four battalions were equipped with a new rifle, again designed by the Mauser Arms Factory. The new repeating rifle was so important for Germany as a military power that Wilhelm I himself was present on at least one of the many testings. The regimental history of the 3rd Guard Grenadier Regiment describes one event where the Rifle 71 was compared against the what would become Rifle 7184 while His Majesty was present and inspecting the new rifle himself after the shooting was finished. The new rifle was officially adopted in December 1886 as the new infantry rifle 7184. And with this out of the way we can finally move on to our Binet 7184. It was also adopted on late January 1884 under the official name of Seitengewehr 7184. Production started in 1885 and in 1886 troops began to change their rifle and bayonet M71 against the new rifle and bayonet 7184. Early examples of the 7184 were still produced with the old leaf spring locking mechanism like the M71 bayonet. I would love to show you one of these, but they are amongst the rarest imperial German bayonets and sadly enough I don't own one. 184 served as the standard infantry bayonet in Prussia, Saxony and Württemberg until 1890 when it was replaced by the old bayonet 1871. This was done to make sure the German infantry was able to fight the French soldiers in a potential war between the two countries. The French 1886 rifle bayonet combination was about 180cm long when the German commission rifle 88 together with the 7184 bayonet was only 150cm long. Therefore, the old M71 bayonet was brought back into service to bring the Germans to a 173cm rifle bayonet combination. I don't have any exact numbers on how many bayonets 7184 were produced, but I know that around 1,100,000 rifles 7184 were manufactured, and I think it's okay to assume that there were roughly as many bayonets as rifles produced. And if you're interested, here is also a list of the manufacturers for the bayonet 7184. From 1886 until the last production in 1889, the bayonets were produced with the bottom lock mechanism you can see here in the video. The muzzle ring diameter is 17.4mm, so the 7184 will fit onto the infantry rifle M71, the Jägerbüchse M71, the infantry rifle 7184 and the rifle 88. Just a short side note here in Bavaria. They didn't switch bayonets for the infantry and stayed with the 7184 until it got replaced by the bayonet 98 in around 1900. But the service life for the 7184 in Prussia was not over after 1890. It was only the infantry who switched back to the M71 bayonet. During the 1880s and 1890s, lots of units like bicycle troops, medical troops, the early Zeppelin units and military artisans and later even the new machine gun companies were equipped with a small and lightweight bayonet 7184. Another use for the bayonet 7184 was the Imperial German Navy. They would adopt the rifle and bayonet 7184 in the late 1880s and would use them together with other more modern weapons until 1918. As an example for this, there is a document quoting that in 1908 there were still 13,100 Bayonet 7184 in service with only two Navy Sailor Divisions alone. Another use for the leftover 7184 were the colonial forces called Schutztruppe. They would use the Jägerbüchse 1871, a rifle originally produced for the light infantry, and pick the Bayonet 7184 as their Bayonet of choice. Some of the blades for the Bayonet 7184 were also used later to build a new Bayonet, 
the 84 98 to fit the new Mauser 98 rifles and carbines. The sheath stayed completely the same. Now, like we did in the last episode, we're going to take a look at four different types of markings and stamps. The marking of the manufacturer, the proof marks, the property marks and regimental markings. The manufacturer for this binet is Alexander Koppel in Solingen. Proof marks are looking good. I mean, not really good anymore, but they're in the right place, so everything okay here. The property stamp, which is not the year of production in this case, is W88. W88 or W87 is what you'll find most of the time. My 57184 are three times W87 and two times W88. The 88, of course, stands for 1888, the year when this binet became state property. The W stands for Wilhelm. We can't tell if it's the first or the second, since both ruled in 1888. The regimental markings indicate that this binet was issued to the 123rd Infantry Regiment, Ersatz Battalion, 1st Company, and weapon number 229. An Ersatz Battalion was the part of the regiment where new soldiers would be listed until they were deployed in the different frontline companies. And there you have it guys, a short video about the Infantry Binet 7184. If you have any questions about this Binet or any other Prussian, respectively Imperial German Binet, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and please leave a like or dislike so I can see what am I doing right and where to improve. And this leaves me with nothing else to say but I will see you guys in the next video.